Auto Group for a true luxury automobile experience. Go to Ray Katina, the legend in luxury. Already, and it goes very quickly, we uh, reach week three in the league where they play. For pay. Two and one last week. Three and two for the season. We had one and one the first week and a push last week. Two and one. Uh, what were they last week? I'm trying to remember. We won on the Giants. We won on the... What was the other game? I'm trying to remember. I took the Giants. I won. I took the... Boy, I can't... Why am I? I can't remember. I took the Giants. I know and I won. And I took the um, yeah. Falcons and won. And I lost on the Chargers. That was it. Okay, Chargers. I know they were all big games. Giants, Chargers, and Falcons. Lost on the Chargers against the Pats, getting seven. Won on the Falcons, getting points against the Eagles, and won on Monday night with the Giants. So that's it. Two and one, three and two for the season. All right, this week is a tricky week because you have a lot of uh, small favorites on the road. You have a lot of in-between games this week. There aren't a lot of huge lines, the one big one being the Chargers against the uh, – Chiefs and they've made that an astronomical one so it's a kind of in between little bit of an you know a, a tricky week I think this week uh, but I got a couple of games for you game number one uh, the Texans are 2-0 and they go into New Orleans to take on the 1-1 and -on Saints now uh, the Saints last week disposed of the Bears in, in the fashion you would expect and the Texans went across and played the Dolphins now the Texans last week on the road off an opening week against the Colts which is an emotional game for them across the country to take on the Dolphins now back across halfway or for them not a long trip but back across again in New Orleans to take on the Saints in New Orleans and for the Texans this is going to be a big challenge for their defense for the first time Wade Phillips defense is going to get a very very big test not a test from the Dolphins who keep shooting themselves in the foot not a test from the Colts who had no offense with Kerry Collins but from a legitimate big time explosive offense and it's one I don't think they'll pass I think the uh, Texans who will probably be without Foster because his hamstrings bad again will be able to move the ball at times they'll make some plays on the Saints but not enough surprisingly they are saying hey we like the Texans a little bit here because when I thought about it earlier in the week I thought this game would be Saints about six and a half the line is four so I think they're saying all right listen we'll see how good the Texans are I think you will learn a little bit and I think that's one of the themes of week three is how good just how good is this team how good is that team how good is this team and I think you'll find that out this week I think uh, this is a uh, tough test for the Texans one they don't have to pass because they're already two and oh the Saints are one and one they have to get this one to get the two and one I think they will high scoring game both teams having their moments maybe a little ebb and flow uh wouldn't be surprised if both teams even got up around 30 but i like the saints minus four in game number one we talked about the theme of just how good teams are that is going to be the question as the lions now go on the road at two and oh to take on the zero and two vikings and now the lions are starting to get the respect Last week, they were more than a touchdown favorite at home. They answered the bell against the Chiefs. Now they go on the road where they had, you know, lost games forever until late last season. Now they go on the road and they're favored going into places where they haven't won in, an, in a dog's age. Now they go into these places and they're favored. So we want to see if this Lion team, which is scoring a ton of points, can it scoring 37 5 last week over 40 can they continue to show everyone how good they are they can if their quarterback stays healthy and i expect them to answer the third test here maybe not to the tune that they've answered the first two but answer it with enough to spare the vikings are owing two they're down they know this is a big week are the vikes this bad I think they're no good. Are the, Ram, are the Lions this good? I think they're good enough to be a playoff type team this year. The Lions are now streaking. If they answer this one, they'll become very much a big story. This is a big game for them into a place on the road, a division opponent on the road in a place where they've had a lot of trouble. And now they say, hey, we have arrived. And they're like two ships passing in the night. The Vikings going down, the Lions coming up. Lions, three and a half point favorite on the road in Minnesota. You say, whoa, wait a second. This is a different level now. It is, but I think the Lions pass it. I think they win this game by a touchdown or more. Give me Detroit minus three and a half. 
game number two. And my third game is a bounce back game. The Rams are banged up. They're in the throes of a terrible slate. They're young, they're making mistakes, and they're going to catch the Ravens on the wrong week. The Ravens beat the Steelers in week one. They were sky high. They took the second week off and they lost to the Titans. Now they're on the road to take on the Rams, and I expect the Ravens to bounce back. The Ravens are three and a half points favored on the road. I don't love laying three points on the road, I admit that. But this week, there's a lot of those games. You could have gone to the Packers. You could go in a bunch of places. There's a lot of those type of games here. And to me, I think the Rams are just going to be in the wrong place, wrong time to start this season. They're 0-2. They can move the ball, but they're making mistakes, making mistakes, making penalties, m turning the ball over, making big mistakes in special teams. And frankly, I just think the Ravens are too tight, too much of a veteran team, too together to go into the St. Louis and lose and go to one and two. So I expect them to have a bounce back and get their attention off last week. So I think this is as much to me an anti-Ram play as it is a pro-Raven play because I think the Rams are banged up. I think having played on a Monday night is tough. I think they're a little down right now and I think it's going to take them a couple of weeks to get their legs back under them. Their second half of their season and when they get in their division will be far better than it is right now when they're outside the division for the third straight week and they're taking their lumps they took it against the eagles they took it against the giants now they'll take it against the ravens for the third straight week ravens minus three and a half game number three so to me three small favorites two of them on the road saints minus four to turn back the texans lions minus three and a half to keep the roll going against the vikings ravens minus three and a half to make the rams zero and three the picks for week three on the fan